Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Thanks How for are taking you? time to chat with us today. Thank you so no much. Problem. We had a wild night last night, so yeah. apologies. On our we played George Street in Newfoundland, and it was like, <gasps> it was, and it was. Was it George Street Festival? Yes. yes. We headlined last night. It was a lot. It was great, though. <laughs> I have wanted to go to the George Street Festival for my entire adult life. Was this your first time going? It was our first time. Like, we've been booked for two, two years. years on this show. Wow. And it happened last yeah. night, so. You're getting the authentic rec log right now. We're a bit hungover. <laughs> <laughs> we would expect yeah, it that. sounds like, judging by your voice, Stu, it sounds like you guys uh, took in all that George Street has to offer. Oh I don't gosh. even smoke cigars, but it sounds like I smoked about 15 last night. <laughs> Did you guys, was this your first time going to Newfoundland? Did you get screeched in? We got screeched in, yes. Where, but where did you get screeched in? Oh, Christian. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's the best place to go. That's the authentic screech in. Do you guys remember what you had to say? Long may your big jib draw. Vida is me old cop, long may your big jib draw. <laughs> wow, look at you go. We said last night we, we did this thing on stage where we were like, we don't want this night to end. We're kind of like... Yeah, we'll do it on Friday. We'll yeah, we're talking about long live the night. But then we were like, "How? what's another way to say it? And we were like, long may your big jib drop. <laughs> and everyone, the next hit single. <laughs> <laughs> what the Truck. I want to talk about What the Truck right out of the gate. Because that came out in May. It, it set a record for the most streamed Canadian country song in a week. It set a record for the first Canadian country song to hit a million domestic views. And it's not on radio, and why the frig not? What the truck, guys? Why the truck not? Honestly, what the <laughs> truck. What's cool about that song is, like, I feel like everyone underestimated it. It was like, it's a joke, like, no one's going to care, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And now people really, like, it's like our encore song, and people are like, what the truck? Like, people want to hear it. It's so nice. exciting. Like, people feel a part of it because they really were a part of it because of the TikTok. We were like, should we finish it? Should we not? And then we really felt pressure to finish it. <laughs> yeah, you had to now. <laughs> How'd you even come up with the idea to do it? No decision. Like, there was no thought behind us yeah. posting it. A lot of people after were like, you should have really planned what you were doing. And I was like, so why? If you, if you plan it, it doesn't catch the way it catches sometimes. Yeah, like, yes. it's just yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not the same if you plan things, but it's spontaneous. No. But I'm sure truck yeah must have been spontaneous at some point, right? Of course. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, we did hear that somewhere down the back channels of record label stuff and whatever. You are having other new music really soon, right? Really soon. Yeah, there's um there's some stuff in the works that is like beyond our dreams yeah. ever before, and um. We're so excited to, for it to happen. We just can't say anything about it yet. We're just like, <laughs> yeah, we want it to happen. So we're like scared to say it, you yeah. know? It's like. like it's, just, it's just a really cool opportunity, yeah. the next uh, song. Oh my gosh, that could mean so many things. It's better you don't tell us because we're gossips. <laughs> so <laughs> like, we'll tell everybody. But yeah. we met you guys, um, what was that? Was that a month ago, Foreman? Yeah, geez, why is it, it was a month ago already on PEI? At it was Rock so. Yeah, um, thank God. You... Spray. <laughs> yes, I was going to say that's my new claim to fame is that I provided bug spray for, for you and the whole crew. <laughs> it was cool that you, you, you actually, we saved, well, Melody saved you with the bug spray on PEI. And then you kind of brought us into your little pre show huddle that seemed like a very special moment that I, we may have tainted. But that's clearly something that means a lot to you guys in the band to do that every show. It definitely does. It's just, um, it's kind of like takes the weight off of us, at least, just because it's like, okay, we're a group together. If anything goes wrong, we're still a group together. And you guys do not taint anything. Like, we, like, we wanted you guys to like be there. We wanted everybody to be involved. Like, anybody that's like involved with the festival, we always try to bring in. Whoever's that. close by when we yeah. do it, we're like, you're in. Lost what's going on right now? But uh, oh. it seems to be a good luck charm. Yeah. And saying that we didn't taint anything is a great seal of approval that will wear as a badge. <laughs> taint is one of those words. It's like moist. <laughs> where the more you say it, the more you're like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that word, but we can Which keep word? taint. <laughs> you know, on PEI, though, I wanted to add that we were actually trying to look for you guys on the festival grounds to do this and have a little chit chat. But 
it seems to be a theme here where you, the story was that you were off partying at some brewery. With Jess Moskaluk. We were not. No, we, uh, Jess, Jess's bus left right as we finished the show. No, but they went, because remember, it was like, oh, we went back to our hotel. That's what happened. And it was like an hour, it's like a two hour drive. Right. right. That's right. Oh. Because we, yeah. your luggage got lost. There was a lot that went on that trip. But he our, lost his luggage, and then he had no clothes. So we had to go back to the town to go to the mall. I'm in the mall, like, Jenna went trying to, to Jenna find went to H&M and got me clothes. Like, <gasps> no! the best sister ever. So we would love to have been at a brewery with Jess Moskaluk, but it didn't happen. Most people imagine that that is what bands do when you guys all meet up. We just assume that you guys all party together the whole time. So you're saying that's just, that's not the case? No, we, we would have though, like our drummer last night and he'll be at the show in Truro on Friday, he plays with Jess as well. And he was like, he was like, man, we stayed out for two more days in, Truro, uh, um, in PEI. He's like, that was the best trip I've had all summer. I was like, oh, it's so fun. I'm it's so jealous. It's so fun. We have to do that. And more. then this Friday will probably be a time. A time because we haven't performed, can't help myself. With Dean. With Dean Brody, one time ever. Not once. Oh my God. This is the first time that we do that. If it happens, we're still waiting to be asked, but we're just yeah. assuming. We're just, you know, just, just steps up and does it for us. Because that's another one of those like very obvious, when you hear it, but like a great, cool, spontaneous, spur of the moment sounding song at the very least that everyone absolutely loves and knows all the words to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're um. We realize with the crowds now that we don't need to do any of the pre-chorus. I just go, hail right, and then everybody goes. I like. <laughs> but they don't know the second part. They just go, I like cold beer. Yes, I do. I like cold beer. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it's, the first time. It's gonna be unreal. I it's can't. Dean's most streamed song. It went number one faster than any of his songs. It's uh. It's gonna be a hype time. We're so excited that we get to break it in and the East Coast. In Nova Scotia, that's awesome. Um, you know, if people don't have tickets yet, they can get them at countryrockstheHub.ca. We have been promoting this for weeks and weeks and weeks. We're so excited for you guys. When you're done, oh wait, I'm assuming then you're this whole week, where are you, you're not going. We're, we're here, we're spending time in St. John's and then we're flying to you guys. On Thursday, so we're gonna have a one night off on Thursday there, so we, please would help us with suggestions of where to go. Yes. Okay, are you able to say the rough area you're staying? I know you don't want to say the place because I will be showing up, like, no. hang out oh, with me. Oh, sure. <laughs> I would, don't, don't tempt me. <laughs> I think there's a place called Nook and Cranny that we've That's eaten That's our before. favorite place to eat. You guys eaten there before in Truro? There's a place to eat. That Every time we place. go there, we, we eat there like, all, all three meals, <laughs> every time. <laughs> are you gonna make your way to Halifax at all, or? I don't think so. We're flying in there. So we'll be there like, we'll be there on Thursday afternoon. And then there True. is, um, oh my God, what's the name of the Hamachi Sushi? That, that place? Yes. Oh my God. That's the best sushi in the world. In the world. Well, we really appreciate you guys taking the time to talk to us, especially when you're a little worse for the wear after George Street Festival, as you should be. That's means you did it right. Thank you guys. We are so excited to get there on Friday, honestly, like yeah. to spend this week out east. We love it here. We love the people here. It's just, we feel like we're at home and yeah. we're so excited. What a way to wrap up our summer, really.